So we're about to start a brand new feature on my show called Dopest in Durban. And we thought that this would be the perfect way to begin that feature. I mean, she's from Soweto, but uh, Durban has really given birth to Zodwa Wabantu. And uh, she's a reality TV star. She's a dancer, Eadini queen and first lady. What better way to start? Hello, Zodwa. Welcome to East Coast Radio. Hi, Demon. Thank you so much for having me. Savannah or tequila? Oh, tequila. It makes me mad. Uh, Savannah. <laughs> Savannah. Vosho? Tusapala. Vosho. Right. I'm the queen of Vosho. Uh, men in boxes or men in briefs? Men in boxes. My Benton is boxes. Or nothing at all? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sleeping naked or lingerie? I always sleep naked. Yeah? Yeah. All right. And Casper or AKA? AKA. AKA. <laughs> I've had so many interactions with him on my instagram is there yeah we we get along he 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 always tells me i like your attitude you are like me you know yeah Yeah, aka brilliant let's talk about the proposal because i think that's been quite different i mean i think you're taking feminism to a different level yes you the one that proposed instead of your man proposing to you you're paying la bola Mm -hmm. um tell us about the process with that and i mean was it your intention to to take feminism to another level i'm still gonna go back where i come from how i've seen things how i've battled poverty how i've experienced so many things you know mm. uh bad and the good uh dating someone for five years only to find that they're leaving you for someone while you thought you're investing in that relationship you know any woman or any man they know that that's that can crush your heart from having nothing you know i would always get neglected by men then i, I got to have this uh conversation with myself as in why can't I keep a man why even if I'm in a relationship it feels like I can't offer so much you know is it because I'm not educated or is because I have nothing you know so many questions runs through that then you know I said like if a man could say they like me or they love me from today I'm gonna tell them I want money the following day or after three weeks of dating whatever so whether that's prostitution or a, 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 I find it a, a, a way of I will shade myself if you don't want me because you're scared of paying me. Mm. Let it be. Mm. So I'm saving myself. You understand? No. Because I, I believe once you put a stop to something, it's either you charge or you are expensive or to get them on to do something. You are 50K. So there'll be people that'll be like, oh, no, 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 she's expensive. Then they'll leave me, leave me alone. You understand? So it was more of me not wanting any relationship because there's a price to pay. It's yeah. either not asking marriage. You understand what I'm saying? Mm. It's either what I was going to say, if you say you love me, marry me. Yeah. So on my marriage, it was everything that I've went through, not having solid relationship, not keeping anything. I felt neglected. I felt everything. Now that I have my power, I'm teaching that every woman, whether they're going through Everything that I've experienced, you have a way. It's either it's your way or no mm. way. As mm. in, it's the highway. You understand? So, having my relationship is younger than me. He's 23. I'm 34. We are 10, 11 years uh, gap. So, we've been dating for six years now. I'm going to be 35. I'm not worried if he's going to leave me he, or he's going to see another Mpumi who's younger than him. I'm just living my truth. Uh, him working with me towards my happiness yeah. as in being old. I live for today. I don't care what happens tomorrow, whether the money I'm going to spend on the marriage or the ring that I bought for him. I don't care about all of it. I, I, if he wants to study, he can also use my money to study to better his uh, future. I'm not holding him to say, oh, Zoto is older than me. I'm just going to be using her, driving her car or eating her money. If that's the path for him to be better in his life, mm. I'm willing to li- as he accommodates living his life through me. He acc- uh, accommodates me. I can accommodate him too. Yeah. So it's a perfect fit as in I'm living my life exercise is a big thing and yeah. i mean for you uh 
Vosho. Yes. <laughs> Tell me about that. Uh, I don't gym, but I have all the machines in my house because now I can buy anything. So anyone who can say on, on Instagram, ah, Zoto, are you fat now? <laughs> oh, I see you have cellulite. Then I'm like, okay, let me go to um game, you know. Then I buy a train meal for 15K. Then after six months again, someone says, oh, Zoto, are you have cellulite, you are fat again. <laughs> then I'm like, let me go to game again. <laughs> so I think it's more of I'm just buying, but I'm not even a fan of exercising. While everyone thinks my body is so well-toned, I'm, I'm beautiful, maybe there's a secret that I'm doing. I think it's the Vosho. You know, yeah, those yeah. my thighs are from the Vosho. Vosho. My everything, my legs are from the Vosho. <laughs> so ladies... Do your voice even guys, yeah. So let's take the the coffin that you bought for 150,000 Rand. Yeah. I mean, that came with a marquee and it came with chairs. Yeah. When I first saw that, I thought, wow, I was mm -hmm. taken aback. Yeah. And then I found myself kind of going, is this a publicity stunt? Mm -hmm. And then I started thinking, hang on a sec, mm -hmm. clever lady. Yeah. Because you're actually planning for your future. Yes. So when you bought the coffin for 150 grand, for mm -hmm. example, yeah. were you thinking, the future big picture i'm looking after myself once yeah. again because you've yeah. grown up in a tough world yeah or were you thinking hang on this is going to be gold okay no i'm gonna go back to where i come from mm. i left home when i was 16 i had uh two sisters not from my mother's um womb i'm mm. the only child from my mom uh extended families as in when my mom passed away i went to live in soweto i was staying with my mom in lenesia so from leaving uh, Lenesia to adapting to Soweto, that's where the cruel world uh, started because my mom is no longer there. Then I, I, when I, w I would say I'm hungry, they will hide bread, they will hide eggs, they will hide soap for me, uh, if I needed to bath. A anything that's uh, important in the house, they felt like it belongs to Damon and their kids or whoever in the family because... They're in the same blood. I'm mm. just an extended family that doesn't have a mother now. Mm. When they will talk, they will say, ah, you know what, you'll die. And uh, you'll see yourself how you bury yourself. You know, being a child. If I, I, I break a glass, I uh, was born, you'll see yourself. Anything that I do, it's not enough. You'll see yourself. Then that's where I, I said, you know what? If I could support myself in this house, as in that means I would go out and sleep with men, bring uh, food in the house. That means that teaching me to be a, a, an adult. This entertainment, you know, it eats you today. Tomorrow you are gone. Yeah. Today you are successful. Tomorrow. So if I, 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 I do a, a policy whatsoever that I have to pay 570 what if Zotoa is no longer selling? Then my policy collapse. So buying cash is more of the same as buying that coffin cash because yeah. I have the power now. Mm. Unlike, no, I know I'm going to be sorted. No, I know I'm okay. Everything that's mine is cash. Mm. My car is cash. My A4 is cash. My house is cash. Not because I can. It's because I think as I know who I am. Sure. I'm not educated. I can't allow the bank to say, oh, now they see a million. They're telling me you can have a house for three million. Then I jump on it. Mm -hmm. I think about where I come from and how my little mind, but it's so big. But I, I, I love how it um, supports me as in think according to you, yeah. not what society, what not society what the says, community, yeah. not what the bank says, not what your boss says, sure. not your advisory uh, for money, your, what do you call it? Like a him. financial advisor. Yes, yeah. you don't think like him. Yeah. He's telling you because you're paying him. He's telling you because he sees money in your account. But don't do as he tells you. Yeah. Okay, a tough question. I want to know one thing mm -hmm. about you that nobody else knows. Yeah. Okay, oh. so that that when we put this out, yeah. people go, I didn't know that about yeah. Sidewalk. Yeah. Can you tell me any one thing? I cry when you show me love uh, anyhow. I'm a believer. Uh, I live my life through faith. I believe when I clear, I have a clear mind and a clear soul. I don't hold debt in my heart and in my um, mind. When God visits me, he only finds me ready to receive.
Mm-hmm. I'm always ready to receive. I believe God doesn't visit people who have so much debt in their hearts, so much debt in their minds. Their life is upside down because he, he, he comes to you, he knocks, then he finds you are miserable, you are tired, you are dirty. He leaves you and goes to the next person because you you are a temple. You know, when you talk to the universe, you just be like, God, give me a reality show. Mm. It comes to you. God, give me um, whatever that's going to blow my career or any of those haters who feel like I don't deserve. Mm. Then there's Daily Sun. You are the face of uh, Daily Sun digital marketing. You know, why they've said I'm ugly. So, you know, just receive. Just be conscious. Have faith. Mm. Live. Live like you're going to die tomorrow. Brilliant. So thank you. Thank and you. Uh, we'll speak on Instagram. Thank you so much. East Coast Radio. Radio.